I'm here with the beautiful Lola from Magdalene Ministries. Hello Lola, how are you? Hi, how are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. What brings you to CRE today? Well, I'm here to do a workshop today. Uh -huh and also here to enjoy you know the CRE exhibition here in London. Yeah, great. <laughs> and what are you speaking on today? Well, I actually spoke on social exclusion in the church okay. today. And basically it's an area that you know nobody actually wants to talk about, but it's actually happening and existing, you know, within the church community, which is leading to us losing um, you know people yep. to other religion. So, it's just creating awareness, you know, trying to bring people into um, to knowledge of what's going on, mm -hmm. to getting rid of you know unconscious biases that is going on within the church, and to ensure that we keep our people in the church and not drive them out of the church to other religion. It's great. I wish I was there. <laughs> That's really cool. It, it was it was a fantastic day, and the people that attended the workshop, they were quite happy with it. They, they were they were like, this is the word for the season. Yeah. You know, I'm not a prosperity preacher. Mm -hmm. I'm not a, a healing preacher. Mm -hmm. I am a preacher that talks about the needs of the community. Mm -hmm. And one of the needs of the community is, we are excluding a lot of people out there in our community and not actually including them in the church community. And we have people within the church community that is also suffering from social exclusion. So the likes of like a single parent, you know, who actually wants to use their gifting for God, but because they are single parents or because they're divorced or because they've got one disability or the other, they are just pushed to the back. Yeah. And this is one of the things that we are capturing. We are saying no to social exclusion in the church. Embrace the people who have been to prison, come out of prison, have served their time, now in the church. Let's include them in what we're doing in the church. Let's mm -hmm. make them feel part of our community. We're talking about the older people that are in our church, that we're looking at as if, well, these ones are old. If they've passed their time, no, 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 no. You know, older people have got wisdom. Older people can still be integrated into what we're doing within our church community. Because in a few years to come, more people are going to be getting older. And nobody's getting younger every day. We are getting older every day. Mm. So when we do get to that old age, we don't want to be pushed aside and saying, because now we're old, the gift of God in us needs to lie dormant. No, we're saying no to that. We're saying, come on, whether you're old, whether you're a single parent, whether you're a divorcee, whether you've been to prison, whether you are a young person, you know, who's got the ability to do creative arts within the church, we're saying, come, come and be socially included, not be socially excluded. And that's what we're talking about today. Amazing. And so you're at CRE to, to do that, but you're also here to kind of see what's going on. And yes. yeah, have you enjoyed being here today? Do you know what, I've really enjoyed being here. I've, I was here on Tuesday. Yeah. I um, had a session uh, on Wednesday evening and also I'm here again today and I'm seeing amazing stores all about getting to know even more about other ministries that I don't even know that they're out there and basically just thanking God for CRE and I'm looking forward to the next sessions that is coming up in Birmingham because I surely will be there so if anybody is watching this video and you've not been to CRE exhibition I'm encouraging you to come in because you never know what is waiting for you in CRE so cool, thank you. Um, and so, what are your what are your plans for the future? Do you have anything coming up with your ministry? Yes, we've got a, a, an anniversary of our ministry coming up in November, and where we're going to bring in the people that we've worked with because we've worked with some ex prisoners. We've been able to get them back into the community, get them into volunteering, and get them into employment. At the moment, I'm still working with under 18s in the prison, preparing them for when they come back outside linking them into apprenticeship and making sure that they're well integrated into the community so i'm looking forward to all that you know which is happening in the next few months yeah. plus a big anniversary coming up in november as well cool <laughs> so if people watching wanted to get involved in what you do or just follow what's going on how would they do that well we have a website yeah. um our website just basically showcases the work that we do yeah. and the website is www.magdalenministry.com that's www.magdalenministry.com or you can send me an email info at magdalenministry.com That's info at magdalenministry.com Amazing. Thank you so much. It was great Thank to you. meet you, Lola. Thank you, Thank you for being here. for the excellent work you're doing. <laughs> Thank you. God bless you all. <laughs> and thank you. you to our cameraman as well who is yes. recording us. Well we love Alex. You. <laughs> well love you, Alex. Alex. <laughs> God bless you.